Sturm Geschütz 3 was an assault gun produced by Germany during World War II. It was the most produced fully tracked armored fighting vehicle during the war. The Sturmgeschütz originated from German experiences in World War I when it was discovered that during the offensives on the Western Front the infantry lagged the means to engage fortifications effectively. The Sturmgeschütz III proved very successful and served on all fronts from the Soviet Union to Western Europe as an assault gun and tank destroyer. Because of their low silhouette, the Sturmgeschütz III's were easy to camouflage and hide and were difficult targets to destroy. As of late April 1945, there were still more than 1000 Sturmgeschütz III assault guns in German service. Their most unique mission happened during the German Ardennes Offensive in late 1944, when they had a special role, they had to look like American M7 Priest self-propelled guns to deceive the US troops. The 105mm Havitzer motor carriage M7 was an American self-propelled gun vehicle produced during World War II. The gun was placed atop of an M4 Sherman tank chassis. During the Battle of the Bulge, each US armor division had three battalions of M7s, giving them unparalleled mobile artillery support. A total of 3,400 M7s were built. They proved to be reliable weapons, continuing to see frontline service in the US and other armies well past the end of World War II. Operation Greif or Griffin was a special commando operation led by Waffen SS officer Otto Skorzeny during the Battle of the Bulge. The operation was the brainchild of Adolf Hitler and its purpose was to capture one or more of the bridges over the Meuse River before they could be destroyed. German soldiers wearing captured US Army uniforms and using captured Allied vehicles were to cause confusion in the rear of the Allied lines. The timing of the offensive meant that Skorzeny had only six weeks to recruit and train a brand new unit, the Panzerbrigade 150. The new brigade needed US Army vehicles, weapons and uniforms, American tanks, armored cars, self-propelled guns, jeeps and trucks, and they were to be delivered to the brigade's training camp set up at Grafenwör in eastern Bavaria. The equipment delivered fell short of the requirements, including only two Sherman tanks in poor condition, and Skorzeny had to improvise and use German substitutes. The Ersatz M tanks were the most famous examples. They were Panther tanks disguised to look like US M10 tank destroyers. But they were not the only ones. Skorzeny also ordered to use Sturmgeschütz III assault guns to mimic US M7 Priest self-propelled guns as well. On the 14th of December 1944, Panzerbrigade 150 was assembled near Bad Münsterfeld and on the afternoon of the 16th it moved out, advancing behind the three attack divisions of the 1st SS Panzer Corps with the aim of moving around them when they reach the high fence. The brigade was divided into three groups, Kampfgruppe 
or Task Force X, Y and Z. After the German attack, they would move towards their targets, the three Meuse bridges. Kampfgruppe X received the modified Panthers, all of which were disguised as m and Kampfgruppe Y received six modified Sturmgeschütz 3 assault guns. The field conversion of the assault guns was very simple. Skorzeny commented after the war that it could have fooled a US private only at night as the modifications were so basic. These modifications included the addition of sheet metal side skirts, removal of the roof machine gun, and the addition of sheet metal over the engine deck, and of course adding different US markings to the vehicles. In reality, it is unknown and still debated what the Ersatz M7, the official name of the modified assault guns, was meant to mimic, and many still debate over this subject to this day. According to the most popular theory, they were meant to look like an M7 priest. That is what their name, Ersatz or Substitute M7, suggests. However, Others believe that the name is simply a coincidence and the modifications were done to simply make it look like anything that wasn't a German Sturmgeschütz 3 assault gun from a distance. When the 1st SS Panzer Division failed to reach the start point within two days, Skorzeny realized that Operation Graves' initial aims were doomed. As a consequence, on the 17th of December, Skorzeny attended a staff conference at the 6th SS Panzer Army's HQ and suggested that his brigade to be used as a normal army unit. This was agreed and he was ordered to assemble south of Malmedy and report to the 1st SS Panzer Division's headquarters. On the 21st of December 1944, this brigade under Skorzeny's command tried to take Malmedy. Several assaults of the brigade were eventually successfully repelled by the US defenders. This would constitute the only noticeable attempt from the Germans to take Malmedy during the Battle of the Bulge. Two Erzatz M7s were found after the battle. Both were abandoned and one of them was booty trapped. After World War II, Skorzeny was tried as a war criminal at the Dachau trials in 1947 for allegedly violating the laws of war during the offensive. He and nine officers of the Panzerbrigade 150 were charged with improperly using US uniforms by entering into combat these guys there with the treacherously firing upon and killing members of the armed forces of the United States. They were also charged with participation in wrongfully obtaining US uniforms and Red Cross parcels consigned to US prisoners of war from a POW camp. Skorzeny said that he was told by German legal experts that as long as he did not order his men to fight in combat while wearing US uniforms, such a tactic was a legitimate ruse of the war. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.